With the release of Black Adam, we saw the introduction of a few brand new superheroes to the DC Cinematic Universe. Those are Doctor Fate, Adam Smasher, Hawkman, and Cyclone. Cyclone is a character many were interested in and wanted to know more about, so who is she? Well, stay tuned as we discuss everything you need to know about Cyclone. First up, who is Cyclone in Black Adam? The Wind Controlling Heroine Explained Before Black Adam had even been released, many people on the internet wondered who Cyclone was within the film. She's a pretty unknown superhero with within the DC Universe and comic books, especially while surrounded by some of the most popular within the franchise. DC's Black Adam introduced us to Hawkman and Doctor Fate, some of the most popular superheroes within DC Comics. This means that Cyclone's inclusion was undermined as people didn't know who she was. A heroine such as Cyclone was a likely adversary to Black Adam. Therefore, she was included in the film, being played by Quintessa Swindell. Now that the movie has been released, let's cover everything you need to know about the sacred lore around DC's Cyclone The Birth of Cyclone Cyclone was a character created by Mark Wade and Jeff Johns, and her real name is Maxine Conkle. Cool. Thanks. You too. Cyclone, Smasher, now is your time. I mean, I don't fly. I get big. <laughs> she first appeared in DC Comics in the 1996 miniseries called Kingdom Come. She was a metahuman following in the footsteps of a red tornado, or her grandmother. Cyclone was a young member of the Justice Society of America, meaning just like other superheroes, she began young and evolved into the woman she is now. Cyclone was originally kidnapped by a mad scientist named Moro at the age of six and saw her cruelly infected through experimentations with nanites. These nanobots, or crazy nanites, would later be something she harbored into her powers. Throughout their life, the scientist Morrow had a sinister wish to birth androids left and right, meaning that these androids became the source of Cyclone's abilities and powers. However, she did not discover these until years after the incident when she finally became a superhero. Cyclone's Mental Health and Extreme Intelligence For most of her teenage life, Cyclone was isolated and alienated from everyone else, largely due to her high intelligence and incredible academic success. This means she had the power and the mind to exist alone, away from everyone else. Even though she was young, she displayed insane intelligence and was able to get into the prestigious Harvard University. She was proud of a 4.0 GPA and 1300 SAT score. All this extreme intelligence was coupled with a happy-go-lucky demeanor and her bubbly nature. Cyclone has also been known to be very bossy with a know-it-all personality. Though she has an insane mind, she's very used to her social exile and has serious mental health issues. Later on, when she rejoices at her newfound abilities, she's suddenly forced to live out the rest of her years hand-in-hand -hand with depression and living alone. They touched on this a tiny bit in the movie, but it's deeply explored within the comic books. How did her costume and name come to be? Though she discovers her powers, she wasn't exactly in control of them during her early days. On one occasion, this saw her waking up 500 feet above the ground riding a tornado she had created. Interestingly enough, however, this is actually how she created her superhero name, Cyclone. She even dons part of her costume due to this, as it has a signature green-pointed hat that resembles the character of the Enchantress from the Wizard of Oz series, which she grew up reading. She even gets a pet monkey she names Frankie, which is a reference to the winged monkey-like creatures in Wizard of Oz. This rounds out her insanely nerdy look, which could almost be deemed a cosplay within DC Comics. Obviously, in real life, it would be a cosplay which is an awesome little play on the character. The Justice Society of America, or JSA. Because of her extraordinary abilities, she tries to keep them a secret but is ousted in typical modern-day fashion. During one of the uses of her powers, a video of her goes viral on the internet. This is when the Justice Society of America popped up and opened its door to train her in a bid to expand its ongoing forces. The Justice Society of America is an organization that takes aspiring vigilantes they admire and turn them into a superhero. At the time, Cyclone admired the Justice Society of America because of her grandmother on the team. She happens to pop up on their radar, leading the excited teen into fangirling after meeting her longtime superhero idols. It's here when she teams up with a bunch of Justice Society members and even meets Stargirl, who creates a very elaborate and unique protective suit for her, which is the first step into the world of superheroes for Cyclone. What is the powers of Cyclone? Now, let's get into the powers of Cyclone. Throughout her superhero journey, she has possessed several powers to aid her battles. One of the most useful of all her abilities is the power to manipulate wind and direct its flow at her will. Oh, 
This enables Cyclone to conjure up cyclones, whirlwinds, and heavy tornadoes at will to fight against their enemies. As well as this, the Justice Society of America member now harbors enough power to generate a self-pitching airwave, allowing her to adjust applied pressure. Though she has all of these powers, she's also immune to her abilities, which is nice when blowing gusts through her enemies. This means that she can also use her gusts to travel through them, giving her a tactical advantage when facing certain foes. Additionally, Cyclone is well-versed in everything breeze and blowy, meaning she can produce light work of producing different hurricanes out of thin air. Using the various intensities of wind she can create, she earned herself a title of a tornado with a 167 IQ. This was courtesy of her idol, Hawkman. What is her role within Black Adam? To wrap up this video section, let's discuss her significant role in the Black Adam movie. This video section was created before the film came out, so let's get into some speculation from before Black Adam's release. If the film's trailer is anything to go by, she'll be channeling her trademark ability to control the wind and her well-recognized comic book outfit. She looks awesome and well-poised to dazzle the audience on the big screen. Many comic book fans were more than eager to see Maxine finally take up the platform of live action, and we can't wait to see how she acts in the film. Since the film was released, we know that she did super well in the movie and is extremely popular among the fan base. She was one of the main parts of the film that people spoke about afterward, aside from Dwayne The Rock Johnson's acting. It's awesome to see a character like this get such a cool spotlight within a film. We hope she appears in more DC products later down the line, with a possible Justice Society of America HBO Max series now in the works after the success of Black Adam. Please let us know your thoughts on Cyclone in the comment section below, as was everything we discussed in today's video. And that's everything to do with Cyclone in today's video. She's a phenomenally written character in comic books and someone many young girls and children of color can look up to. She's one of the most prominent people of color characters within DC Comics and fits the narrative very well for Black Adam. It's awesome to see a character like her make her live-action debut on the big screen and be in a powerful movie surrounded by phenomenal superheroes. Despite being overshadowed within trailers and marketing with the other powerful characters such as Dr. Fate and Hawkman, she stands out within the film and is one of the characters that came out of the film with one of the biggest new fan bases. We cannot wait to see what our future holds within the DC Cinematic Universe and her future within the comic books. We know that she'll get more attention after this, and we hope that the Justice Society of America series comes to fruition. In the comment section below, let us know your thoughts on Cyclone and the possible Justice Society of America TV project that's now in the works according to insider information. And that's the end of today's video. Hopefully, you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, please let us know in the comment section below. It would be very helpful. Make sure to like the video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching today's video. Bye!